What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Bruce Wilson. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you like this video. Today I am back out here working on the case 1896 for Will It Start episode 5 guys. Um, I do want to say before I get too far in this video, there's a couple things we've already done that I had a whole entire video filmed and we lost all the footage somehow between going from the camera to my laptop. So. I'm going to go over what I've done since you guys seen the last video of it on episode 2 and uh, we can get up to date and get to get this thing moving. So guys, since episode 2, um, I mentioned that we needed to put a fuel pump on it. I did order a fuel pump from eBay. It was like 17 bucks. We got a brand new fuel pump on it right there and got it all hooked up and primed and got it starting with the key. Yes, guys. And then there was a bad power steering line right here. I'm sorry, a power brake line. That was pouring hydraulic fluid all over the place. We got it replaced. And I did find a key from our dealership, Wilson's tractor that we had laying around. And I've got it right there stuck in there and the tractor now starts with the freaking key, guys. So that's awesome. I also aired up the tires. That front tire obviously doesn't hold air like it's supposed to or really hold air at all. It did air up, but it, since then it has went back down. This side's still holding air. And the back tires, one of these two I think I got aired up. I think it was the outside tire I aired up. So I've got air there. I took. The old H wine that was all inside the cab and all that right there was a rat's nest inside the cab. Uh, a couple people mentioned that there was no um, rat's nest under the hood and I don't know why but just for whatever reason thankfully there wasn't one. So we've got the front tire aired up. We're going to air this one back up in just a minute and I'm going to get to you. I found out about why it won't move. So the reason the tractor won't move is it was parked, as you guys probably know if you've been watching the videos, uh, because it wouldn't move. One day he came in, parked it after using it, came out the next day, and it wouldn't move. It would just kind of lurch forward, wouldn't do anything. Well, these tractors are about, about a relay board here, which I pulled out of the tractor earlier today, um, right here, that has these little solenoids here that make it move and make the clutches activate inside the transmission. And it was absolutely in just terrible shape. I'll throw a before picture up um, here on the screen. You guys can see what it looked like before I cleaned it. And all the little contacts inside there were just in terrible shape and weren't doing anything like they're supposed to. And I bench tested it, got it working, all cleaned up. So that should be working now. Huge shout out to Bobby Whitmer or Whitmere. I'm sorry, Bobby, if I'm butching your name up there, but he told me what to check and I'm hopefully I'm hoping that this is 99% sure that was the problem. So we're going to get it installed back in the tractor underneath the right hand kick panel and see if we can get this thing to move on its own. So guys, this relay board I've got right here goes down inside the corner here of this uh, kick panel in the tractor. And you can see all those wires there. So I'm going to get it hooked back up. Then I've got a shop back with me. I'm going to try to vacuum everything out in here really good. And ooh, there's a wasp in there. Hopefully it's not building a nest. It's going to sting me. But uh, And see if we can get this thing to move. So guys, I've got this board all mounted up there where it goes. All these freaking wires. What a pain in the rear they are to hook up down there. But they're all hooked up. It's mounted up. I did clean where it bolts up right there because um, it is part of the ground there. So that's all cleaned up. I've got a battery set in it. My little brother will be here in just a minute. He can help me do some more filming. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it up because I don't feel like waiting and see if it moves. So the dash up there, I guess you push these buttons right here to see different things on the dash. And this right here is like the on and off switch for the engine, so it should start up. Oh, like a charm. Back at it again with the uh, air up the tire. All right, guys, so I found a problem with the wiring harness. There's not getting power to the back of the fuse panel. So what I did is I took a jumper wire and jumped it. And now our relays are clicking. And also I push the clutch down. They're clicking like they're supposed to also. So. Hey okay, guys, we're gonna start this baby up. Our front tire's leaking a little bit of air and see if she'll move. First gear, cross my fingers. Reverse. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Man. Look at them ruts too. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Yes, 
something leaking up front. Leaking. Uh, yeah. Shut it off. What's leaking? Woo. Some kind of fluid there. Oh, the power. Power steering fluid or Let's something. Let's see. Probably the freaking power steering or the. Dang. That looks like a antifreeze, maybe. No, no, it's that oil. It's probably the hydraulic cooler. Yeah, one of the one of the lines for cool. the big hydraulic cooler up here. Transmission going. Oh, dang. Well, it freaking moves. <laughs> Other than it pouring oil everywhere. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, there you have it guys our case 1896 freaking moves um it's just got another leak <laughs> she's a gusher well it started it will and it starts and moves and everything now that we fix the uh we got to find out why that fuse panel isn't getting power back in there but it definitely moves and works so uh, we got to go to the airfield we got to go to the airfield now and tell bo oh he's gonna flip so there you have it guys, our case 1896, not year 1896, but model 1896 Case International <coughs> tractor freaking moves. Like you guys see in the last couple of videos, we had to replace this um, hydraulic line right there and we put a new fuel pump on it. But there's a big hydraulic cooler up here in the front of the grill, which you can't really see there, but um, it's pouring oil everywhere. This is another really rusted and rotted um, line that comes from the back of the tractor to the front that keeps these um, transmission cool and looks like the steering cylinder is also pouring oil out too so it runs it freaking runs and it moves Woo that's all you got i don't know you want me to jump around and fall down like you did yeah <laughs> so it moves guys huge freaking success oh this makes me so happy our first ever will it start tractor is running and moving and doing its thing so we're gonna go to the airfield now where they're flying air they should be having some pretty big two-stroke airplanes yeah. today and uh, we'll get some airplanes on this video some of you guys are asking about that and tell bo that his tractor moved so aaron got the new six by six truck and now mom and dad know you got it because they watch the videos so we're out here watching a couple people fly guys i didn't bring anything to fly maybe on the next couple videos i will hope you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the like button and comment down below and subscribe to your channel guys if you want to see more will it start videos we did talk to bo i don't think we're gonna be able to buy this tractor but definitely be looking into buying a big diesel tractor or something like that to start messing with and turning up and making it roll the coal um so it's gonna be fun, but we are gonna help Bo get it fixed up and do some plowing out here. So you will get to see more of that tractor here in the future. Um, so guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like. Like and comment down below. We will be getting some new Will It Start videos coming out next week, guys. Hope you will enjoy all these. We'll catch y'all in. Peace out.